Von Damon Design Park and Plaza is a public space and building project on the site of a former stadium in Seoul in South Korea. The site area is steeped in history. Dongdaenam means Great East Gate and was one of four gates into Seoul during the Chosun Dynasty. More recently, the area has become a hub for fashion, media and new technologies. Designed by Saha Hadid Architects, the Dongdaemun project consists of an 86,574 square metre building, a plaza and a landscape park. The core facility provides space for art exhibitions, conferences, a design museum, design labs and a media centre. Dongdaemun Design Park was one of the first projects in South Korea to use BIM and a number of challenges led to its adoption. Firstly, the main building's freeform surface is covered in more than 45,000 unique double-curved aluminium sheet panels. The long and complex design, fabrication and installation process put pressure on both the programme and budget. Then, the unique freeform annex buildings had to be created from reinforced concrete. The project team was also very large and comprised of a number of leading practitioners working from different locations around the world. BIM offered a chance to address many of these issues. To construct the building's facade, the project team looked for a quick and affordable way of manufacturing the 45,000 aluminium panels. As each panel was unique, a way to mass customise panels without using fixed moulds was required. Sheet metal processing technologies considered at the start of the project could only deliver panels at a rate of one every two hours and at a cost of US$7,000 per square metre. Eventually, the team developed a new hybrid sheet metal processing technology called multi-point stretch forming. The data determining the form of each panel was extracted from the building information models. Fabrication costs and timescales varied dramatically with each panel, but averaged between $250 to US$400 each. The average fabrication time ranged from 15 to 40 minutes. Forming the unique annex buildings in reinforced concrete demanded highly accurate construction information from the design teams. The graphical information models were sliced every 30 centimetres. That cross-sectional information was then passed to the form workers who used it to form the complex reinforced concrete shapes. Despite having access to reliable and clash-resolved information in the graphical models, this formwork process was extremely laborious and considerably more expensive than conventional approaches. The project team experienced some communication and decision-making issues in the early stages. This led to the creation of an integrated design room, common ground where people could co-locate to discuss and make decisions about design issues. The teams used their information models as a tool for communication and decision making, resolved many problems much more efficiently. Whilst many digital communication tools exist, and all the project's data is stored in a common data environment that could be accessed internationally, this approach demonstrates the power of having a venue for sharing, discussing and resolving urgent issues on complex projects. Faced with the building's complex geometry, the Dong Damon team worked in a BIM environment to identify clashes and to mitigate rework. This proved particularly powerful between the structure and the mechanical, electrical and plumbing systems. It was also used for coordination with the complex underground utilities of two nearby subway lines. Clearly, the prime use of BIM on the Dong Damon project was in spatial coordination and in providing accurate fabrication data. But the project team felt that played a significant role in delivering the scheme successfully. For all the challenges faced, the project now glistens amongst South Korea's historic capital city, the first step in the country's BIM journey. <laughs>